What is up friends? I am so excited about this video today because we are talking about my top five, yes, my top five workouts that I did during my weight loss journey. These are still my favorite workouts. Why? Because they are going to work several different muscle groups. They're gonna get your heart rate up and they're gonna get you burning the fat. If you wanna see these workouts and do them with me, stay tuned. All right, the first exercise is nobody's friend, but it is great because it is going to get your metabolism going. It works for full body. It is going to get you shredding. It's great for like hit cardio. You're going to activate so many muscles on this one. The burpee. <laughs> I know, I know. But if you want to see how I went from that to that, then you gotta keep watching these workouts, okay? But for the burpee, right, there's a couple different variations. We can go down, hop back, push up, hop up, right? We can go there, we can go down, hop back, push up, hop up. We can go down, no push up, up and up. We can go down, no push up, up and hop. Right? Or we can step back, down, push up, up, step up, boom. There are so many variations that you can do with the burpee. I like to add things like cross punch, down, boom, explosive. These are really great for building your endurance up. As a dancer, I really wanted workouts that would get me back in shape to really hit the ground running in my dance career. So these were really awesome. The burpee really got me going. And I had to grow and work my way up to the burpee, and you can do it too with some of these variations. So I mentioned being a dancer. That meant that I also wanted a strong core, okay? And so I did a lot of planks. Of course, I did a lot of planks during my weight loss journey. Still do them now, like I said. Multiple variations of the plank, maybe on down. For the plank, we can start on our forearms, right? And come here. The thing about the plank, you don't want your booty too high. You don't want to be laying on the ground. You want your back nice and strong and straight. You have a nice curve in it, which is gonna activate the top of your core. You're working your arms. You're working your legs. Full body burn through, which is gonna give you more calorie burn, right? Which is why this workout is so great. You can come up to a hand plank, pushing your body away from the mat, pushing. You can still are gonna have that nice round, not that, not that, not that, here, right? Strong, engaging the core. You can do the side plank, coming down, holding it on the side, right? All of these variations are super awesome. I started here, right? Sometimes I needed to be down. But when I first started, it was all about just getting the plank. Sometimes I would have to go half plank, right? Being over 200 pounds was difficult to hold all that body weight up. So sometimes I would have to go here. No matter what though, I worked my way up holding these planks, engaging my core in really tight, okay? This next exercise, I didn't start doing until later in my journey, probably about three months in because um, one, I didn't know about it. It's really not that difficult. The deadlift, yes. So I have a couple weights here. These are just five pound weights. You can do deadlifts with a, a bar, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, but it's really about the activation. What I love about deadlifts is that again, I'm activating so many different muscle groups. My quads, my hamstrings, my back, my glutes, right? My abs. Because I'm working so many muscles, that means I'm also burning more calories doing these, and I have a lot of muscle growth happening, which also allows me to burn more calories. Three months, four months into my journey, I wanted to start building some muscle up. I started heavy on the cardio, and that was really great, but I wanted to start making a switch. So, the deadlift was it. I start with my feet um, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, right? And there's so many different variations. I have my dumbbells here with a slight bend in my knee and I lower down using my hip as an anchor. You'll feel that in the hamstrings and then I pop up squeezing the glutes. I lower down, lower, 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 pop, squeeze. 
Okay, abs in, engage. Lower, lower, lower. Hop, squeeze. These were so awesome, y'all. These really um, started to force me to see my body making all kinds of changes. Slight bend in the knee here. Lowering, lowering, lowering. Exhale when I come up. Inhale it down. Exhale it up. Okay? That's all you have to do. There are also a lot of different variations for the deadlift. Lots of variations for the deadlift. I just say start off simple, start off smooth, and then work your way up. There are single leg deadlifts, right? All kinds of different things. You can also start with these without the weights and work your way up there as well. The next exercise is the jump rope. Y'all, I hated this jump rope when I got started. I absolutely hated it, but now I love jump roping. You'll see now that there are so many jump rope challenges happening and people really falling in love with the idea of jump roping. What's really great about it is you can work multiple areas. Again, just like all these exercises, um, my jump rope is weighted, so there are weights in the handles, which means while I'm jump roping, I'm working my arms. Jumping, I'm working my legs. I'm engaging my core. You know what that means if I'm engaging more than one muscle group at a time, I'm burning more calories. You will see the shreds so real with the jump rope. I've started to just incorporate it at least three to four times a week, doing uh, like 300 to 500 jumps. I couldn't do uh, that many. Now I'm up to like 1,000, 1,200 jumps three to four times a week, and it is killer. The jump rope is definitely your friend. Burns those calories, work those muscles. If you're somebody who has a lot of, you're trying to build strength in like your ankles and lower legs, jump ropes are great for that because they're gonna build up the strength for your lower legs to support you, okay? Jump ropes. The last exercise, and you'll see, I got a friend here with me, is the jump squat. Y'all, another one. Hated the jump squat. I think I hated all of these workouts when I got started, but now I love them all. The jump squat, y'all, is going to, again, you know what I'm gonna say, it's gonna work more than one muscle at a time. You're activating your core. You're firing through these legs. For me, I really wanted to start to shape and grow some nice legs. I like adding this resistance band because it's going to work my muscles that much more um, harder. It's gonna push them for me to burn more calories. And so here, right, all we're doing is dropping down, exploding up, dropping down, explode up, boom. Here, you can also bring the arms up, high, boom. Okay, if I turn to the side, you'll see me explode, right? Creating lots of endurance, heart health, boom. Great for cardio, high. Great for hit workouts. And when you add this band, you really feel it. Now you can also add weights. You can jump with the weights, right? You can sit on the bench and explode from the bench, you can do so many things with a jump squat. Those are my top five exercises. I'll put together a full workout that you can do with these five. You know how to do them now, you know what they will do for your body now, and now you have a workout to incorporate them with using all five of them. I want you to try it out. If you do, tag me on Instagram, on Facebook, at Ari Renee. I would love to see you in action. If you're interested in a van, you can purchase these at airrenee.com. We have red and stock more colors coming soon. Thank y'all for joining me in this awesome workout. I hope you take the time to try them out, and I will see y'all in the next one.